Okay, so what is change management? Anyone know what is change management? Any changes you are bringing up into the system? Any changes that we are bringing to the system? Okay, what system? This is the first question. ITIL system. ITIL. Okay. What system we are referring? System is fine, correct answer. But what kind of system? Incident. Sorry. Already existing incidents. So let's say I want to create one incident. Do I need change? I think it's a new uh, feature or a change that is required for a system uh, that is that will be managed through a change management request. So system again same answer here. Application. Only applications. So application. Only applications. No, no, any IT, any IT infrastructure system is a system part of. Uh -huh. So, first of all, okay, let's say do one thing, okay. We have how many systems? Service now, how, service, service now have how many systems? One system or three systems? Instances, yes. like three instances. So, if I want to do something in dev, do I need to do change management? Do I need to create a change? No. In test? No. No. In prod? Yes. 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 Why in prod? Yes. Because those are customer facing live environments. Customer facing live environment. Okay. Okay. First point. So the point here is okay. Okay. First, why we need to against? Why the question like you said customer oriented, but why? Okay. Why is the question? So see here. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Sridhar, I don't think it has to be only customer oriented. Ah, yeah, that's not fully answer. I, I'll cover it up. Okay. Yeah, okay. So see here, live environment is our core environment. Okay. Live, live is important here. Dev test. Okay. Okay. We don't need a change, but live. Okay. Change management. So I will ask one question here. Okay. So live environment fraud instance. Okay. As part of our service now instances, okay, every every day, like every two weeks, once we will move our updates to production. Okay, let's say this coming Friday is our release day, and we want to move some ten applications, ten stories. Okay, maybe 30, 40 updates to production. Okay, I will create one change. Or there is the server in the there is a Oracle server, and Right now, the Oracle server is running with 2.0. We want to upgrade it to 3.0. Okay. For that, we create another change. Or there is a MySQL database. Okay. Right now, it is running with 500 terabytes. We want to make it 750 terabytes. Okay. For that, increasing the space, I will try a change. Right. Or there is a printer in our third floor. Okay. Some something needs to be modified upgraded okay maybe to work on okay to work with uh, uh, color printing also now it is black and white printing if you add some upgrade then it will work with color something then that is also i will raise a change and do it or in our organization there are maybe 5000 employees okay and today maybe coming sunday i want to deploy acrobat 11.0 to 2000 employees for that also i will raise a change okay keeping these examples okay anything that modifies the current state of production environment live environment it needs to be recorded in the form of change record the statement is clear ma the live environment so please repeat the... once more the live and the, anything that modifies the current state of production or live environment, the, the change that you are going to do should be recorded in the form of a change request. Correct. So what this one will do? This one will change this one of the application in production. What this one will do? It will change one of the server in the live environment. What this one will do? Same. What this one will do? This is also changes something which is there active for every user. What this one will do? This one will go and deploy the application to 2000 employees. That is also some change to the production environment. So, 
when we say production it is our entire production in live processes environments not only service now every service now is one of the application in production okay so there are so many entities correct anything happens to anything what happened we need to record somewhere correct yes after five years if i say why this happened where is the record where is the proof you got my point everyone after one year i will say why this server is upgraded to 3.0 why then someone needs to have a proof saying okay on this day the server is migrated to this 3.0 version in order to uh, in order to uh, balance the vulgar well okay the all the updates and all something there is some word called vul vulnerability something okay to up to date to be, uh, yes ma'am so where is the proof here you did it but where is the proof why you did it how you did it when you did it okay before you do it did you tested it or not okay if something goes wrong what you did so where are these records all these things will be recorded in the form of change management records this is how you use change application the definition is clear ma yes sir what is the meaning of incident what is the meaning of incident incident is for reporting an issue okay what is change for change management is to record the change that happened to this production environment okay good sir i have a story here let's say we will we'll talk about one story okay story s t r okay 0001 very good 000100 okay so this is the story i want to move to production so i want to make a change na so let's create it so take it category maybe it's application related okay just like application it's our service now is an application na so consider like that okay so this service service and all not required just keep it priority moderate risk moderate okay impact moderate because this is a normal change let's say there is a server down you need to restart it you need to apply some patch if you don't do it then it will impact 1000 2500 employees applications and employees so that could be priority high correct immediate so the prioritization same thing okay so uh move uh changes to production okay code move something we say code move or update set move okay if they know update set terminology okay they can tell it same thing you can write it here so you can write more details also which application okay incident application what functionality we are moving okay uh, new notification okay when customer dies something like this okay something blah 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 blah, blah okay now planning here see this every option gives you the definition of change when you are creating a change what are the options they are asking us to write why this is okay so why you implemented this why you did this work that you write it here same description maybe in a different way you write it here the description itself is a justification correct yes why you did this work for this justification right good maybe let's say is this is our sample okay let's say this is our sample what justification you write it here maybe okay need to be upgraded okay because patch to because version 2.0 don't be supported any more supported correct is that a good justification yes yes so similarly why you are doing it there should be a purpose no for that purpose you need to write what is the implementation plan okay so for our requirement how you do production movement what steps you do move update set name move updates move below update sets to production and then give all the list okay update set names okay just give update set number 1 update set number 2 update number 3 okay if you have anything to do manually okay 
verify, check, all the stuff you do. So whatever we are doing when we are moving the update set, every step you need to write down. Okay. Implex, impli, impli, this one I don't think so. It's a it's a custom field. I created it. Yeah, I created it. This is like a, to me. You don't be having it. Okay. Complexity low. Simple. Risk and impact. When you are moving this one, if something goes wrong in the production, okay, what kind of risks, what kind of impacts it will happen and what you did. Okay, there may be, okay, not everything can be smooth. Let's say you you did it. Is there any impact? Is there any risk, risk, risk expected? No. Okay. And it has been, it has been verified in dev and test very closely and no risk is found attached customer well customer testing means uat proof so if something goes wrong customer also will be blamed because he given the proof right good what i written here is a good yes my everyone is that clear yes yes what is the backward plan? So let's say you implemented into production. If something goes wrong with that particular change, okay, because of this, something is not working. So what you do immediately? Backout. How to roll back? So if it is update set, how you roll back, ma? Okay, there is a back. I think we didn't cover the update sets, no. Okay. So in update set concept, there is something called backout. Okay. That's why I think I don't cover these topics now. These are all discussed to be discussed later. So let's say. I moved one update set to production. Okay. So when I move it, the state will be complete, first thing. Okay. And when it is a complete, you see something called backout. If you back out, whatever this particular work you move to production, they will be removed. Okay. So backout option. I will cover it more when we discuss about update set. Okay. That three days session. But for now, okay, back out the update sets. Okay. Once you move to production, if you want to verify something, what are the things you need to verify? Go to incident application. Okay. Steps. Testing steps. All you write it. Okay. Go to incident application. Open this option. Click this option. Verify this behavior. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. In production. Okay. Good. When you want to. So, these are all planning. When you want to implement it. What time? Exact time frames. Okay. Friday evening, 5 o'clock to 6, 7 o'clock. Okay, five to seven. Ten, you can ignore it. It should be zero zero. I will type it here. Okay, so is that cab required? There is something called cab. Okay, cab meeting, cab board. So there are some set of managers where they will validate every change, and they will ask you all these questions again in the meeting. You need to represent your change there. You need to give all the Justification. I yes, this is my change. Yes, this is the purpose. Yes, this is what I did. Okay. They will ask you why what is the risk? There is no risk. We tested in dev, we tested in test. Okay. We verified every functionality. I attached the documentation. You can refer it. Okay. So we didn't find any risk. It's very smooth. So they will ask you. So if something goes wrong, what you do? So we will say we need to immediately roll back. So there is an option called back out. We do that. Okay. So they have this change, but they still ask us. We need to justify them. Then they will approve it. If they don't approve it, then gone. Okay. This cannot be taken further. We can't do it. Okay. So, here, cab meeting. If cab meeting is there, then when? So, those and all information will be mentioned here. Okay. Conflict. Let's say I am creating one change. Some other from some other place, they are also creating one change. That time, this are matching the same time. So, here given the time is, okay. Uh, maybe so I given 5 to 7 okay he given 6 to 6 30 so there is a conflict here you see the conflict you see one message when you are saving it you see one message like this change is having a conflict just a warning message but let's say you and he doing same activity the same server then it should not be so it will check the affected CA also means application also and notes closure information blah 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 when you are closing it so which group you need to assign it who will do this implementation service no team so we keep every of this information and then we create a change so 
and this have the life cycle okay so it will be moved to approvals it will be moved to okay second level approvals it will be scheduled it will be implemented moves moves uh, move the updates to production after that it will be reviewed means whether the changes are successfully moved to production or not verify properly and then close it okay so this is the change change management okay like this i given some samples here like this you take the reference but don't copy paste it okay if you copy paste also you need to write the respect to justifications everything think what could be the live changes that we do in it industries okay and take them and then create a minimum 10 to 5 to 10 change change records you got it ma you can refer other videos also change management videos but the plot basic plot is same okay maybe some wordings difference will be there but you just understand it in a simple manner and then start creating 5 to 10 changes this is your exercise for tomorrow clear yes 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 so we covered instant management we covered change management like that so now why this one will help us sir why change management will help us tomorrow they will ask you what you implemented on change management you will say one word okay i, I worked on two years for itsm applications what is itsm application incident change problem task and all problem we will see later incident we are seeing it we know little bit you, you already created you have little knowledge there okay then pro change now we are seeing change request management we will be seeing catalog so change management you will say i did something on change management then they will say what you implemented in change management then you will get stuck so if you know basic idea then tomorrow okay in change management form i created five columns i created one ui policy i created one notification i changed some default behavior so whatever we are learning those developments you apply on that application and you try to frame some answers you got it everyone yes if you don't practice it you don't get that answer correct if you don't create 10 changes today you don't get that answer tomorrow is that correct statement yes or no yes, yes. okay so please do that that's it okay any questions on change management here in a simple manner don't go like uh, workflows okay blah 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 simple what we cover here in this page level any questions who will create the change the person who is who did the development or who is implementing it they creates it they create the change anyone can create it now it doesn't matter i i did the development i only need to create no anyone can create in the big processes there is a separate team for change management we give the we give our work to them okay they will create they will represent for us there is a separate team for change management they will validate the changes they will create changes they will run change management life cycle but if we don't have like that you create your own changes you represent the changes you implement the changes when you say you you are not one uh, you are team you got it my everyone yes everyone yes. is that clear Yes. Yes. Any question here, please? Uh, <coughs> sir, actually, uh, every story will be uh, moved to product. If we right? so, uh, before that, we we, we we will create a change request. If right? we have the change, see here, ma. Not every company, every process will be having change management. If they have the change management manually, then yes, you need to create for every story or maybe you need to create for 10 stories one change you need to discuss so it's all how how the standards are yes you got my point ma yes yes good next any other questions my last question please okay fine shall i end shall i end Sir, what is the other way uh, if we won't use a change request? Yeah, so, yeah, from developer side. Test to do plot directly move. That's yeah. it. Other way means nothing. Yes.
you are anyway moving it so on the uh, on the release day uh, will automatically uh, move that uh, move uh, the changes to production. that's it without change record with change record without change record that's it what we are doing will be same are you recording in a change management system or not recording the change management system that's it correct so now yes. let's say i don't have a change management system okay now we move to production then where is the record someone will say why you moved it then that time maybe you you show your story and then you show that as a proof from your side you have something but it's not authentic proof there is a separate process for changes it's an extra change yeah. extra proof okay. good should i show the uh, deployment of that update also no? yes yes sir okay Correct. Okay, so let's create it. Let's create more changes. Refer the existing change records in the table. Okay, just watch some sample five minutes, ten minutes video. Learn more deeper about change management, and then these topics will help us. Okay, now we are developing everything in our table. So tomorrow the same concept you need to say in different topic, different topic, different topic. Okay, that's where our uh, knowledge will little improve. We don't stick to with one table because this table. We need to create a table to understand table, but this is not our main. Na? We will be doing many things on different different tables. That also we need to concentrate. Right? You are getting the intention, my everyone. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll end up here then. Take care, everyone. Bye.